Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nelson with Galaxy Note 2 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you MIUI Express, a new launcher for Android. And I'm going to be showing it on for the Galaxy Note 2, and it doesn't require root, so I'm going to go through some of the cool features. So here is the launcher. You can see the icons are redesigned. If we go through, you'll have three um, stock pages. You can add more pages as well. Here you have a, a widget up here. If you hold down on the screen, you can add widgets from down here. You can add a clear task, a quick switch, which is the one up here, search, a clock. And you can also edit the widgets. If we tap on here, you can change uh, and set different toggles to appear in the widget as Wi-Fi, data, backlight. They're just easier ways to turn things off and on. Here, if you tap this, it'll clear some memory. So whenever you guys have too many applications open, you guys can tap that. Uh, here you'll see a folder. It has a folder style like the iOS folders. Here in this one, you'll have toolbox. And these are applications that are for directly for the MIUI Express application. So here you can uh, hide applications. You can do a T9 search, change the layout, uh, one key lock, and then some of the settings, which I'll go into later. Uh, here's recent task. If you go here, you can close task. If you go up, that's to cancel the task and scroll down is to lock it and you'll see a lock up here and you can take that off and then you can swipe up and it clears the task so if we head over here here's the main page of the home screen you'll see some applications here you have phone contacts browser and messaging uh, if you go to phone it's a different phone app you can check your contacts directory all that stuff that's redesigned as well if you go to browser, it'll open a browser like Chrome or your stock one from your from your device, but it doesn't have its own native browser. Messaging is um, exclusive to MIUI Express. Here you can see it's a little bit different. If we get out of here, we can go on this side, and it should be noted that there is no app drawer. All the apps are in folders or just on your home screen. Here you'll see a bunch of your apps and it put bloatware in a folder, it puts system tools in a folder automatically and just regular tools. And if you guys want, you guys can also change the background and the theme to this uh, launcher. So here we can tap on themes and here you'll find some that cost money, some that are free. You can also change the wallpapers and ringtones. <clears throat> There's also a native app store for MIUI Express, which you can find here, App Market. And I've downloaded a few of the applications, and for games, it's easy to download because you'll see that it's in Chinese. But some of the applications don't know what they are. And so I downloaded a few, and they work perfectly. And it's not through the Play Store. It's through a specific app market for MIUI Express. Uh, finally, if we head over to the settings, you can change a lot of settings for the launcher. You can do stuff like changing the effects. Uh, changing the app icon layout, enabling weather animation. It just, it's a lot of things that you can uh, enable and disable. For the lock screen, which I'll show you guys last, here you can change some of the things the style, wallpaper, uh, hiding, status bar. For messaging, same thing, you can go through a lot of things. Uh, here, you can check your download manager for apps that you've downloaded. Here's anti spam which you can use to filter messages, block calls, block unknown messages. And finally, we can check out the lock screen. So I'm going to turn off the phone. And here is the lock screen. If you hold down here, you can swipe down and it'll unlock the device back to your to your home screen. But you can also quickly open to other places like the camera, the messaging app, and the phone dialer. So if I go to messaging, it'll open directly in messaging. So that's a really cool feature. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Galaxy Note 2 Softmodder. All right. Thanks, guys.